I'm Mike Stanton with Build America Mutual. I'm here with Grant Dewey, BAM's Head of Municipal Capital Markets. It's Friday, November 15th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Recap. Uh, Grant, this was a four-day week. We took, officially, the market was closed on Monday for Veterans Day, and we want to thank all veterans for your service. Uh, despite the four-day week, volume was heavy, uh, $12 sure. million dollars of deals. What do we see? Let's start on the interest rate side. So uh, uh, Treasuries rallied this week um, down, you know, 10 basis points or so, but we're still quite a bit, um, you know, about 30 basis points off. Uh, the highs of, of about a month ago. So um, market got a little bit easier. Things stabilized this week. I think some of the unsold balances on the new deals uh, ended up going away, but you know, overall solid, uh, solid week for the market. And yesterday on Thursday, BAM hosted Bloomberg Radio from our offices here. They broadcast from 10 a.m. to noon uh, with a really heavy focus on the muni bond market. And if you click the link above, we'll take you to a list of all of the podcasts that were produced from the interviews during that uh, segment. Uh, Pat Haskell from Morgan Stanley sat down with Scott Richberg from BAM. You uh, were on an interview with Mark Muller from Lowe's Corporation. Mm -hmm. uh, and on the technology side, we had a segment on cybersecurity and its risks facing muni market issues with uh, Jonathan Cooch from Threat Quotient. So definitely uh, feel free to check that out. Uh, let's transition to the primary markets. So in the BAM world, about $270 yep. million dollars of transactions priced this week. What uh, $270 what million. So uh, it's a good number. And the in secondary, we did an additional you know, $35 million or so. So a uh, solid week there. Today, there was a lot of trading in BAM insured paper in the secondary. Uh, MTAs, uh, notably New York MTA, and and uh, so we continue to see value there. We also wrapped a University Park District. It, uh, it's a, a special assessment bond in Florida. It is uh, down uh, near Miami, and uh, we uh, we wrapped that deal. It came kind of uh, you know just a day earlier, a similar deal in the northern part of the state for Villages, which is a and often um, they've come to market quite a few times. Yeah. And uh, so the insured deal came, uh, you know, 25 to 40 basis points um, through the uninsured uh, villages deal. So uh, that was kind of a solid, I think solid performance for the issuer. The deal did well, and, and uh, so it was a good week. And a couple other transactions to highlight, uh, $46 million for Etowah, Georgia, water yep. and sewer sale that was uh, sold by City. And uh, last week we talked about the City Miami parking revenue bonds. Ultimately, BAM insured about $38 million of that $50 million transaction that was underwritten by Jefferies. Uh, so looking ahead to this week, uh, what's the calendar? It'll be a full week, the last full week before Thanksgiving. Uh, what's the calendar look like? So uh, it should be similar to this week. We have an extra day to work with, um, but uh, $240 million uh, in the primary. We've got uh, Stockton. Uh, PFA deal, which is a green star, I believe. Um, we also uh, and Mark Capel from BAM's uh, San Francisco office recorded a uh, Credit Insights video specifically about that transaction. Again, click the link and you'll be able to watch it. And we have a couple of Cal deals, uh, three Cal school district deals. We actually uh, wrapped some uh, Grossmont Cal bonds in the secondary this week. So uh, we continue to be uh, very active in Cal. Great. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Will you get paid if an earthquake puts your municipal bond investment on shaky ground? Yes. Double A guaranteed. Is your municipal bond investment safe even if the next recession reduces public revenues? Yes. Double A guaranteed. BAM Municipal Bond Insurance protects against everything from natural disaster and recession to fraud or cyber attack. BAM. 